Hey folks, doing a six month review of my LG V20. Um, and as you can see probably from the front and the back, it definitely has been used and loved. Um, I never bought a phone case for this thing, but I absolutely love it. There's quite a few videos on my channel of me using this. Uh, when I'm not shamelessly plugging my Panasonic FZ80 that uh, um, I was given um, for reviews and uh, allowed to keep. Uh, but uh, yeah, this phone is awesome, baby. Um, I can only imagine what the, the LG uh, V30 is like. For the money, this, uh, this is an incredible deal. Um, you know, I can't remember exactly what I paid for it, but uh, I'll have a link out to Amazon in case you want to buy an unlinked one. Uh, the camera on this provides really good uh, 4K. Um, could be a little better, you know. My only complaint, and that's what the V30 has, is that it's not 60 frames per second. Uh, and obviously, Unlike the Panasonic FZ80 camera I have, this one has no um, optical zoom, so it's all digital zoom. Um, so you can't really compare that, but you do get a nice wide angle uh, video. So I'm going to try and catch this, uh, this hummingbird. we got hummingbird feeders down here. I'm going to try and catch that bird. Uh, well, actually, there's about three of them that come. I'm going to try and catch them because they do some pretty cool things that I don't really see in other people's videos where they will come and check you out and hang out and just kind of uh, hover in the same spot and it's just uh, it's just an incredible thing it makes uh, you know the expense of uh, feeding them and uh, all that stuff not that it costs that much but it makes it worth it to have have them out there pretty cool so uh, this phone though, uh, spec wise, let's go over the specs. 5.7 five, 5 inch screen, it's got a uh, dual screen up here. So where is that cool? When you're watching a YouTube video or something else, you will see what the time is and some other useful information. Now where does that stink? Uh, if you just want to watch the film and you don't want to see that, but there's a setting to shut that totally off. The cameras take really good pictures. Um, pictures and video so that's nice this thing weighs 6.2 ounces which is actually relatively heavy and that's not even with the phone case on there four gigabytes with a quad core processor it does gaming pretty darn good um, there's some other phones out there that have faster processors and maybe less less ram but uh, this thing holds its own if you ask me now the screen resolution 1440 by 2560 that is comparative, I believe, to um, all the, the S8s, S9s, and um, the iPhones, if I, hopefully I'm correct about that. Um, that is right around the range of, uh, well, it's, I don't guess it's not 2, 2K, or maybe it is 2K, um, but it's not a 4K screen, obviously. And it does look really freaking sharp. Um, I should play a YouTube video of mine that's in 4K so you can see how good it looks as I record it in 4K. But uh, yeah, I had touch sensor in the back which is awesome and uh, it sounds great uh, if you ask me when I, um, when I play a video on it with just, uh, just the volume in it, it's pretty loud. The uh, speaker quality when you're talking on the phone is is just okay um i've yet to see a phone that has good uh good speaker phone quality and uh i don't know why that is um at least this one's better we'll say than most of the others um that i've used so that would be one thing that i wish they could just you know uh put like four or five speakers in these things have a different version a phone that not only people want to watch awesome videos, but be able to actually have really good sound and have conversations. But that would 
probably absolutely annoy people if they, they did boost the sound and made them loud. Battery life on this thing, um, you know, originally it was really good. Now it's not lasting quite as long. Um, it might be some of the settings I have and the fact I have this thing on all the time. And it's, it's just awesome, uh, awesome phone. I'm going to get the V30 soon. And, uh, you know, that'll be good. Uh, 64 gigabytes of uh, RAM. Uh, not RAM, excuse me. 64 gigabytes internal storage, which is absolutely amazing. Um, you know, that's comparative, obviously, to the, I the newer iPhones and the, the Samsungs, the S8s, the S9s. Um, but, you know, what that tells you is it's a lot harder to fill up those apps and start getting that out of uh, disk storage space, which is really freaking annoying. On something like a Samsung J7 um, that we've reviewed here. So this guy though uh, also uh, as much as I love this I've put in a um, let me see what size did I go with I think I went with a hundred and twenty eight gig yeah so it shows 119 but that's a hundred and twenty eight gig SD card in there so I have I have an ungodly amount of space in there, which is awesome. You can see the internal storage is not bad. I've moved a lot of stuff over to that. So, uh, in the end, you know, we could go through a bunch of features that you can see in the other videos uh, from people that are just getting this phone and have not actually used it very long, um, where I have put a lot of time into this one. Um, this phone is it was incredible you will be happy with it um, get a get a phone case for it um, make it last longer and uh, you know if you can get one used uh, you can go that route too um, just make sure it has clear ESN alright well thanks for checking out my video